Okay, we're going to talk about general insurance, just an introduction. It is chapter 8. There are four key um, areas of general insurance. There's liability cover, property damage, financial loss, and fixed benefit. I'm going to go a little bit in depth into liability and then just touch on the other three. So, with liability, there's this concept known as indemnity. Indemnity is the reimbursement for a loss. So, and the whole concept is that the insured's financial position is restored. So, if your car gets crashed and your car is worth 200 rand, they pay you 200 rand. Obviously, this doesn't work with um, life insurance. You know, when your husband dies, they don't come and give you, you know, an identical husband. So, this is very specific to general insurance, not life. Okay, but what's not indemnified is um, personal accidents, policy excess or when there's a maximum level of cover and when your household contents get stolen because they traded for a new for old. So even though they're getting benefits, they are not indemnified as their financial position in some cases might be better off with new for old or in some cases it could be worse off in the sense that a family heirloom can't be replaced or the policy excess, you know, means that you depart a little bit as well. Okay, so let's look at features of liability insurance. That's them in the broad sense, but in the next page we'll go into a little bit more detail. So we see that the first thing is um, it provides indemnity where the insured owing to negligence is legally liable to pay compensation to a third party. So if you're driving in a car and you crash into a Ferrari, you're covered. It'll also cover the legal expenses, so you know if that person sues you, you're covered. However, if you were drunk driving or you stole the car and you know you're doing something illegal, your cover is invalidated. Um, when it comes to marine and aviation, then international or national law may apply. Then the claims may be medium to long term and they're linked to like court award and inflation like that. That's particularly important with employers liability where if your workers are working in a mine with poisonous gas, it only becomes apparent like 20 or 30 years later. You know, benefits may be restricted by maximum limit or excess. Maximum limit just to cap the loss. Excess so that the insurer also has an, the insured has an interest in the risk as well. And when you claim, it may result in the cancellation of future cover or a need for reimbursement premium. So, you know, because you're now a higher risk or, you know, they've made the payment. So it's not like, oh, you can crash your car five times and they'll pay you back. No, you have to reimburse. Okay, so what are the perils in liability? There's employee liability, which we spoke a little bit about. You know, accidents caused by negligent actions by employer or the employee when you're exposed to harmful substances and exposed to harmful working conditions. You then have motor third party liability also talk, uh, spoke about public liability is when your dog you know rips off a person's arm um, you know then you're liable to pay for them product liability McDonald's gets hit by this a lot because you know it makes people really fat professional uh, indemnity you know doctors when they give the wrong drug or they stuff up but it can also apply to actuaries with reporting and accountants in that Enron situation Okay, the perils with property damage, you know, the building itself can be burnt down, lightning, um, theft is included as well because when someone breaks into your house, they break like a window or something. So it'll be minor damage, but it still is damage, which goes to our next one, contents. You know, this is when people come in and they steal your goods. Uh, that's not very pleasant. And then third, there's marine hull. That's, you know, the perils of the sea. So like if your boat sinks or if your plane falls out of the sky or if your car crashes. That's property damage pearls. We then have the financial pearls. You know, this is where um, you make a loan or someone and they, they don't repay you or you ask someone to deliver a good but they don't. That's third party failure known as pecuniary loss. Then there's fidelity guarantee which is fraud, embezzlement and Enron again, and then there's business interruption. So 
this is interesting because let's say your house gets burnt down, okay, or your, your shop gets burnt down. You can't sell any goods and you're losing that future profit that you would have made in the coming months. Macro is famous for this because uh, they're very flammable and the business interruption is huge. And then finally, we have perils which are fixed benefit. You know, personal accident, loss of a limb or, you know, you smack yourself. Uh, health insurance, you know, need for treatment in a hospital. And unemployment insurance when you become redundant. Hopefully, us actuaries will never have to experience that unless they create a supercomputer. And yeah, that's all the, the things we looked at in this chapter. It's nice and short. Study hard.